Well, well, well. I had to do it again. I enjoyed it. And I'm sure the viewers enjoyed it as well to hear people's perspective. But this one right here, the truth coming to the light three. Because it's a whole lot of truth coming out. And it's a whole lot of truth got to be shared. But first I want to start off with Hillary. Now, Hillary is playing dirty to get in office. Don't you think Hillary would be dirty in office? Hmm. You doing you playing dirt to get in office. Automatic be dirty in office because you plan dirt to get in. Now the other thing as far as with Hillary as far as on the dirt thing. Hillary talks about how she'll be a bread leader and this this that. Well, a while ago, in her the earlier part I guess of the campaign, well Hillary's campaign, if you remember Hillary shed her tears at one point. Hillary shed her tears because of the pressure she was dealing with. Now, if there is some type of adversity, some type of obstacle that, like the Iraq War right now, that's hard to get around, do you think shedding tears is going to solve the situation? Do you think shedding tears is going to stop the war in Iraq, fix the economy, or basically help the American people out? as far as working families who are trying to provide for for themselves and help keep their household stable with tears helped it no tears were not second the two key points and this is last but not least and switching over to the origin of black racism is the fact of Hillary when she was being pressured by the media the first thing she wanted to do is the media is not being fair. The media is not being fair. When, when are there rules to the media? I mean, when has the media ever had rules as far as there's some type of code or policy book that the media must abide by in order to bring and shut people down or in order to embarrass and shame people? There is no rules in the media. So here we right there couldn't take pressure two times she shed tears at one point in her campaign and also she started whining and complaining about that the media is not being fair so what when she get up in office and the leaders rebel against her the Islamic leaders or people within her party turn against her what's she gonna say oh I'm a demonize not being fair or you know Y'all not being fair within the party trying to support me on this bill. Or what she going to shed tears. So this poor leadership and those two areas right there. So you're playing dirty to get in office. Which is already a bad move. Now you having people to play do your dirt for you. And you pretending like you don't know where these videos coming from. Hillary is setting it up paying these people to get dirt on Obama. And she's trying to make herself look innocent and just step back and like. You know, I don't know how that happened. I don't know where that came from. You know, it's it's wise, but I, I'm, I'm not silly. I know exactly what's going on in that area. Now, as far as the origin of black racism, of course, is mainly from the people who originally were racist towards blacks. Now, like I said, this is not separatism. You know, I'm not racist at any point. But a lot of white Americans wonder, you know, oh, okay, um... This is black racism here. This is black racism there. Well, you got to understand, for many years, almost 400 years of slavery, how, you know, African Americans, the Egyptians, the Native Americans, was deceived by the primitive white America, which is Europe or Rome. It goes all the way back to Rome. So being deceived and tricked and women being raped and this, this, that, and all the way back to Jacob and Esau, of course, which I explained it in a True Cone of Light part too. So that right there is the origin of black, uh, black racism when it comes to, you know, blacks being victims of racism. So by them being victims, they only learn or absorb from the people who was originally racist towards them. So that's why a lot of blacks still have that in their hearts. And because of the history of being, like I said, deceived and tricked and, you know, things being stripped and took from the African-American race, this also develops in 
the hearts of many elderly African Americans and middle aged African Americans because of what their parents and grandparents taught them the same way as in white America as teaching racism how it got passed down but we eat when I said when it comes to white America it originated with Esau and Jacob will you know wanted to have peace and wanted to sell the things with his brother but when it comes to black America it came from white America as far as racism itself now another thing I want to bring up as far as about okay Obama's passed the Santa N word well where did that word come from blacks got that word from the people who called them that word so for Obama to say okay uh, I mean uh, um, his pastor to say oh Hillary ain't never been called uh, you know the N word and all this other stuff and all of a sudden it's like the media oh that pastor said the N word okay what about when the Klansmen in the early 50s and 60s what about when the N word was popular they used to put the N word on billboards on posters and some more they used to publicly exploit the N word but the media weren't wrapped up all around it saying hey that's bad they don't need to put that word on bulletins and all that the media wasn't saying a word but all of a sudden Barack's pastor said you know it's a big deal it's like it's a new word or something or it's like this word been used in a wrong way for the first time in centuries or for the first time ever the N word been used the wrong way and that's how I look at how the media is taking it and that don't make sense now not defending um, Jeremiah Wright which I said in truth coming to light part two you know I thought he was wrong but I'm just saying as far as how they taking it as far as the n-word like oh, oh no he he said the n-word then the last but not I guess the last part as far as ordinary black racism you know leaving Hillary out is a lot of people to say oh um I guess well I understand as far as parts of white America I mean I said me personally I got a lot of white friends and socially whites white whites real well and I don't like to say whites but I, I like to say more of my white brothers and sisters because literally brothers and sisters because of Jacob and Esau but I would say a lot of I, like I said um, a portion of white America saying hey you know all this black racism and this this dead and you know where it, I don't feel it's unfair as if they complaining about black racism and that's why I say you gotta understand as far as the the so many years the root and the history of white racism towards blacks and that's right there is kind of like left a stain in many African American hearts because of the simple fact of you know them minding their own business and a bunch of Europeans come over and end up stripping and taking over the land but in Isaiah chapter 18, 19, and 20, it's prophecy that happened because actually it was a punishment from God that the African Americans and the Egyptians get stripped of everything because they was disobedient to God and they totally turned their hearts away from Him. So that's why I don't, I don't have racism in my heart because I know the root, the actual deep down root of where it all came from. I said Jacob and Esau and as far as slavery in Isaiah 18 19 and 20 about prophecy about slavery and also Isaiah chapter 45 verse 12 13 somewhere around there we see the angry people so I just wanted to bring that up about origin of black racism like I said Cain you know blacks absorbed in front of people who they was victims of it too and as far as the end word now I guess I'm gonna wrap it up real quick since I got a few seconds left as far as with the N word. So why do blacks call each other N word, but when a white person calls the N word, they get offended? Well, blacks use the N word towards one another more in a joking way, but when a white person said it, says it from the people who it came from, and not just that particular person that says it they're white, but because it came from their ancestors, a black person take it more offensive because the word came from their ancestors you know so just want to say that real quickly so got a few seconds left and I'll wrap it up peace be unto you and Christ for life